The 10.5 inch iPad Pro is the oldest Apple device that I currently am using today. So the question is, how does it stand up in 2024 with iOS 17.4? First of all, this iPad is still pretty fast when you really think about how old it is. This iPad Pro was released in 2017 and it was announced at WWDC of that same year. And at the time, it was considered one of the best iPads you can get. Fast forward seven years to today, and this iPad still holds up pretty well, but from a software perspective, it is a bit lacking. This iPad Pro, even though it came out a year prior to the current iteration design of the iPad Pros of today, does not support Stage Manager, which is a feature that allows you to rearrange windows to different sizes. That way you can have multiple applications running at the same time. While this iPad does not have Stage Manager, it does have split view and slide over support. So you can definitely use those in order to manage multiple apps at the same time. This iPad can run three apps at the same time, which is very helpful if you have a term paper that you're currently working on, a YouTube video, and you are sending an email to your professor. In the later years of this iPad's life cycle, you start to see that it just got the trickled down features of the iPhone. For example, with iPad OS 17, this iPad's headlining feature is the ability to actually change your lock screen and have the widgets appear on that lock screen, which is a pretty low standard for iPad releases, which leads to a bigger problem with iPad OS where Apple doesn't really know what to do with it. If you don't care about Stage Manager or any of the new features like Face ID, for example, this iPad is still good in order to read, watch YouTube, surf the web, pretty simple stuff. It's still pretty capable, especially considering how old it is. Is this iPad worth it in 2024? I want to give a two-part answer because on one hand, I think it's worth it if you are trying to save money and you do not care about OLED iPads or iPads with micro LED displays. If you just want an iPad just to read, you can definitely find this on Amazon, probably Best Buy, but most likely Amazon and you will probably be able to find this for a pretty good deal. However, if you are concerned more with the latest software features, then I would have to suggest that you pass on this iPad because this iPad does not get Stage Manager. If the rumors are to be true, with iPad OS 18, this iPad would not be supported, which is actually a shame because this iPad is capable. The trend that I see with this iPad when it comes to iPad OS releases is that it's going to get all of the same features that the iPhone would have. So any features to iMessage that the iPhone will have, this iPad will have as well. But there won't be any standout features that will separate this iPad from any recent iPad. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching this video and all of my other videos. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.